I'm going to be taking you through how you can open up Adobe Premiere Pro and make it to the timeline so that we can import and add our own clips to edit. Click on that and then it will bring you up to the Adobe Premiere Pro screen. It's gonna look something like this if you're new to Premiere Pro and it'll give you a few little tips and tricks if you really wanna read through them. We're just gonna close this down as today I'm gonna to be taking you through everything that you need to know. The first thing you want to do is select new project in the top left hand corner right there. And then it's gonna bring up some sample content that you can find and edit if you don't have anything yourself that you want to edit with. But all we're gonna do at the top left hand corner again, it's gonna say project name. I'm gonna change this to Dylan's course. And then in the bottom right hand corner down here, you'll notice it says create and the project location at the top there where my mouse is, that is where the file that we're creating is gonna be saved as. So if I select uh, M1 Dylan Feb 2023, this is the folder where all of the material saved from this project is gonna be located. So that's great, that's where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna select the create button in the bottom right hand corner. Once I select that, it's gonna bring me up to the homepage for Adobe Premiere Pro. This is exactly what you're gonna see every single time you open up a video and begin to edit. Now, the very first thing that we're gonna to wanna to take a look at is what is happening on the screen. The top left hand corner is gonna say source. Now this is all of the clips that we're gonna drag and drop into this project this is where all the clips are gonna be located in the source section. Now you've got effect controls here which is where we're gonna add effects later on like fade in, fade out, adjusting the volume, uh, adding cool motion graphics, that sort of stuff is all gonna be controlled around here. Uh, audio clip mixer, this is where we're gonna alter the audio. Below this, I'm gonna actually go back over to the source so we can see what clips we add. Below this, just above my little face cam, um, again, we can drag and drop media here. It's gonna have all the effects again, like we said, similar panel um, to drag and drop uh, onto our project file. And this is where we choose the effects and above is where we control them. And again, you know, just basic stuff here. We've got a few little adjustment tools that we use throughout. So for example, drag and drop, uh, track select. You know, I'm gonna cover what all of these do very soon, but just be aware that all of these tools have a different function, whether it to be to add text, to move stuff along, to cut and split clips, or to do a few other functions. Now, the timeline is where we drag and drop all of our logos, our sound effects, our music, our videos, and they all come up on this lovely section at the bottom, and then that is where we kind of edit our stuff. The top right-hand corner, Essential Graphics is up right now, depending on what panel you select from this drop-down menu. This is what will come up here. So if we're color grading, we'd have color up. If we were looking at what clips were in the assembly panel, we'd select assembly and it comes over here. So really, again, it sounds very complicated right now, but you just have to trust that, you know, I'm just making you aware of what everything does and what everything is. Don't worry about understanding it completely right now because this was a whistle stop tour. We're gonna to go through every individual section very, very soon in a lot of detail and it's gonna become super clear, I promise. But I just wanted to get a real quick overview done of some of the things that are in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what I would suggest doing is making sure that before we begin, you select the editing workspace. This is just a nice default workspace where we're gonna see everything that we need to start with on the screen. And right now I'm gonna take you through how to add clips to your timeline. So firstly, you wanna go to your desktop, go to the folder where your clips are located, and then we're gonna simply drag and drop those clips directly onto the timeline. So right here is all of the footage that we're gonna be working with in today's course. We've got some footage walking around as if it's a vlog, some footage of me sitting down and we're gonna create a really cool video. And then I've also got some computer overlays uh, where when I'm talking about stuff on screen, I'm gonna have a face cam and then actually have myself. So we're covering a wide range of stuff in today's course. But to start with, I'm gonna add the default, the bulk footage to my timeline. Now that bulk footage is mostly me just sitting down on uh, and in front of the camera. So I've highlighted it, then I'm gonna drag and drop it onto the timeline sequence. It then begins to import all of the, the, the thumbnails and the videos, and you'll see that this section up here has now got my video right here. And there's me talking through all of this stuff for about, as you can see here, 31 minutes. So there is exactly 31 minutes of content I've added to this timeline. Now, another thing that I am gonna do is I've got some other stuff that I'd like to add. This is overlays from my computer. I'm gonna drag and drop those, and then I'm gonna highlight them and drag and drop them onto my timeline as well. Now, I'm gonna make sure that these are a bit further back. We're gonna push these away to the back because for now, we're not gonna be working with them. But as of now, all of my clips that I'm going to need in today's course, in today's video editing project, 
are all on the timeline. I think that that is a great way to kind of go about starting off your first edit is to make sure that all of the clips you wanna use in the video are on the timeline so we have everything organized in one place. And all you have to do is drag and drop. Now again, behind me, behind this face cam, you'll notice that all of the clips that I've drag and dropped are exactly on uh, the, the Dylan's course section. If I was to change my layout to assembly really quick, you'll notice again, here are all of the clips in today's project located in the assembly panel. But I'm gonna head back over to the top right hand corner. I'm gonna select the editing layout again because I think this is the easy easiest as a beginner. And it is now time to start editing. Now the way I'm gonna take you through this editing process is that I'm gonna basically go along and edit the video as I would normally edit it. Now there's a few things to note about why I'm doing this, but I'm gonna save that for the next class. So thank you for watching class one. Let's jump into class two. So thank you very much for watching my tutorial today. If you found it helpful or useful, please do check out my online course down below. It teaches you how to become a great video editor. No nonsense, straight to the point, just like my teaching style. And it also includes all of these tips and tricks like you've seen today in one course. So I promise you, it is a great use of time. Uh, I hope you check it out. Thank you for supporting me and the channel. Leave a like, take care, subscribe.